So without further ado, I'm going to pass you on to Sandra from Belgium. So before I start, I just want already to apologize myself in case I start blushing because I will reveal one of my darkest secrets in my life today. But tonight I will talk to you about what if smart technology will control our life. So then you end up that every, buy, every time you buy Belgian chocolates, you get a nice coffee for free, which is cool, right? What a, what a nice system I have here now. But what is actually smart technology? So everything is called smart today. But it's only the fact that you can control a device through your phone. And for example, you have the U-Lights of Philips, where you can set the color of the light by using your smartphone. But is this smart? I don't think so, right? Because you just tell the device what it has to do. But let's imagine that we have kind of a super brain in our home in the coming years, which spies you 24 hours a day, knows everything about you, knows what you need, and then controls all the devices according to please you, actually. Uh, so I found this fascinating, this vision, really. So I started in my own house to prototype stuff. Where I pimped up my coffee machine and learned it, that every time I get the kids from school and I drive home, I am really in the need of a cup of coffee. But this didn't work. And you know why? Because I will confess, I often stop by the chocolate factory, <laughs> you see, it's close to my place, for some Belgian chocolates, and nobody knew this. So when I came home, I had iced coffee, but not the good one, just cold coffee <laughs> with my chocolates. So we went on researching these cases and, and how does AI can handle this? So in our solution, uh, we just say, okay, leave the AI part for everyday standard activities like detecting I am driving home and let that be the developer or the manufacturer, it doesn't matter who. But then we said, okay, but now for my guilty pleasures, I cannot program. Okay, I am a programmer, but I think 90% of you guys are not. So we developed kind of like a rule-based uh, system where uh, use, people can define if this, then that rules to control their super brain technology. But I don't want to program all these rules, right? If I'm on a lazy day, I just want to sit in my sofa. So therefore we introduced the idea of templates where you just have to click the values in. And these are developed by tech people, but not tech people. I took my 10-year-old son as a reference so he just can develop uh, the templates. So then he developed a template that I can have one guilty pleasure a week. So now I am like begging my own son to give me more than one guilty pleasure a week. But we also applied this in my office because I always lose my documents. So I learned my bookcase to tell me where documents are that are used in a certain task. So for example, during a student meeting. Now, of course, all my colleagues were jealous and they just stole my templates to pimp up their offices. So from our community point of view, we will ensure you that how smart your home, your home will be in the future, it will always be possible to have some guilty pleasures in your life, not controlled by technology. And then the last one, 
Do you actually now know my darkest secrets? So if, according to my kids, I am the mother in their school with the coolest vintage coffee machine ever made. And I really love Belgium chocolates. And luckily, I just live like two minutes from the chocolate factory. So thank you for being here tonight. And have still a nice night. Nice.